Hello ladies and gents, Ghost here, and today I'm going to be talking about the importance of using your rudders, which means yes, yawing left and right with the A and D keys, or indeed if you're playing on console, I think that equates to left and right on the left thumbstick. Now this is a question I get a lot in videos, people often ask me, like, how do I turn so fast? So I'll be like, coming in for a strafe, a little bit like this, I'm just on the test range here, I'll go up out of the strafe, and maybe I didn't take out a target, so I want to go back around, and, you know, I'll just do a regular sort of switch up there to the side, and, and come down and attack again. Um, what this movement seems to be that people are asking about is really just rudder switching, which is not really too complicated at all, although that is easier said than done. So what do you use your yaw for? A lot of people just use it to actually align their targets. So say they come down for an attack on a target, they'll zoom in, they'll use their yaw to sort of tweak left and right, and they'll use their pitch up and down uh, to move their sight up and down. But this also plays a massive role in dogfighting. If you're dogfighting and you're not using left and right yaw, you're definitely doing something wrong. So if you're one of these people that whenever you perform a switch, you just roll to the left and, you know, you just sort of pitch up like this and you're not actually yawing, you're just sort of pitching and rolling the jet, that is going to put you at a massive disadvantage. You really need to yaw. It gives you more distance and it allows you to turn tighter. So all you're going to do whenever you make a switch to the left is you're going to roll the jet left, you're going to pitch up, obviously do your speed control, but you're also going to use left yaw. So you can just go in the test range like I am, you know, I'm just holding down left yaw here and sort of get used to sort of, you know, switching in this direction, or I suppose I'm not really switching at the moment, I'm just sort of rolling to the left. Uh, and then you can switch to the right. Now it does sound pretty simple, right? You just hold down the yaw key, but it's actually harder when you actually have to implement this yourself. And especially when you yaw to the right. This mainly goes for PC players, but for example, for me, I have my forefinger on the D key, which is your right. And I also use that same key for C, which changes my view. And obviously in a dogfight, you're going to be changing your view a lot. You know, you need to keep checking your speedometer. You want to make sure you're doing your speed control, which means that you have to take that forefinger off the your right key in order to change view. So it can be a little bit strange to get used to. Some people maybe prefer to um, bind the view changing key to maybe something on their mouse to avoid uh, this confusion. But I really recommend getting this down, guys, and practicing it. If you're somebody who doesn't use your in dogfight and you find that your opponent is easily gaining ground on you, then that is most likely more than not the reason why. It's because you're not using your. And it's also a very important thing to learn for more advanced maneuvers like scissors. If you want to learn to scissor, essentially that is just yawing, rolling, and speed controlling to one side. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but uh, learning how to do rudder switches is definitely something that will assist you with that. So that was about all I was going to say about this, guys. It's just something I've I've seen asked so many times in almost every video of Jet Domination or Wingman. Everyone's like, how do you turn so fast? And it's not really necessary that I'm turning fast. It's just that I'm using your in order to get some tight turns and uh, with uh, speed control. So... There you go, guys. I'm going to continue flying around near the test range for a bit. Good luck with your rudder switches.